Let's decide which of these four molecules has the highest boiling point. Let's learn what we've used about intermolecular force to help us decide. Now you probably recognize these molecules from our unit on organic chemistry. CH4 is called methane, has one carbon. A molecule like this with three carbons is called propane. One with six is hexane. And one with eight is octane. Now you probably already know which one has the highest boiling point. But let's think it through using intermolecular forces. You also know that all four of these molecules are nonpolar. So if they're nonpolar, you know right away that the only type of intermolecular force that they can even have is London dispersion forces. So essentially we have to figure out which one of these molecules would have the strongest London dispersion forces. And of course, whichever molecule has the strongest intermolecular forces, that one will have the highest boiling point. Here are their boiling points. Minus 164, minus 42, 69, and 125. So you can see the boiling point increases as we add more carbons. Well, here's the reason. All of these molecules are nonpolar and would only have London dispersion forces. But the larger molecules have more electrons available to participate in London dispersion forces. So what's important to take away here is that larger molecules tend to have more or stronger London dispersion forces simply by virtue of their size and the amount of electrons that they have.